Welcome to Exometric Trick number 762. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Exometric 761 to 770, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video we have an exciting lookup problem. Here's the situation. We have a table. And in this cell right here, we need to find the pipe size. And we have square footage as an input. That's in this table here. We have selected rainfall. That's in this column header here. And then we have a slope of a quarter inch. Now this is table, this is the table for eighth inch. This is the table for quarter inch, and this is the table for a half inch. So we have three tables. Still further, we have a different type of lookup than we're normally used to. Here's our square footage. We need to go to the three inch column and go down here. Now normally what we do is we take a value and the VLOOKUP, for example, will race down the column and when it bumps into the first value bigger than it, it jumps back a row. But that's not what we need to do here. We take 10,000, we need it to look down the column and bump into the first value smaller than it and jump back a row. Ah, so VLOOKUP can't do that. But guess what? Match, the match function equals match this third argument here, match type, we can use minus one, and that's exactly what it will do. It'll race through a column and find the first smaller value and jump back one row. All right, so we have a bunch of complications here. Let's just start right off the bat, and we are going to have to use index because we're looking at something up here. We'll see if we can get it, our formula to work here in this table, and then we'll deal with the fact that there's multiple tables. So equals index. Now another thing that's important to notice is the column headers and the row headers are the same for each table. All right, so index. The array, well, we're just going to highlight this array here. This is the array of values we need to return back to the cell. Now we have to type a comma and get to row number. Now, for this particular situation, we have this 10,000. And we're going to use this column. So we're going to race down, bump into the first value bigger, and then jump back one. So that would make it 1, 2, 3, the fourth row. So really, that 8 inches is what the index is going to dump back in the cell. But how in the world are we going to do that? Well, we need to look up this 10,000. So I'm going to use the match function. Match can tell us the relative position of an item in a list, or the ordinal position. So I'm going to say, hey, please look up that 10,000, comma. Now what we'd like to do for the lookup array for match is highlight this whole thing. But what in the world is going to happen when we change that to 2? We can't hard code this particular column in here. No problem. There's a way to look up a column. But you have to use the index, index function. So instead of just highlighting this, we're going to actually, in the lookup array here, look up a column of values using index. So index, usually we use index to do a one-way or two-way uh, lookup. But index is just as capable of looking up a column or a row. So the array, it's the whole range, that whole table. That's the array, comma. Now what does index do anyway? Its specialty is it can look up a row and column number given those two inputs and return an intersecting cell. But we're looking up an entire column. So guess what? Here's the column. And as I go down the column, do I really want all the rows? You betcha. If you leave that argument blank, it returns all the rows. So comma. Column number, we're just going to use match to figure out from that input right there which column we want. So match, please look up that, comma, the lookup array is going to be this. The match type by default is approximate match. These are sorted in ascending order. So that's the default. So we're going to leave it out, close parentheses. That's going to deliver our column number. For example, you can highlight this and hit F9 and see that it is the third column. Remember, we're trying to look up a whole column here, control Z. I'm going to close parentheses on that and highlight the whole index. Empty row argument, a 3 in the column. So when I hit F9, the two-way lookup returns the whole column there. That is what we need to use to, to, for match to look up that value. Control-Z. 
Now, let's think about this. Here's, we're looking up this value. Boop, down here, we want to find the first smallest value. So we're going to come to the end and match type comma. So rare that we get to use this one, negative 1. Close parentheses. Now, match. All match, remember, match is just supposed to deliver the fourth row. So the index can find this relative item, fourth position, and return it to the cell. So if I, there's the row number, that whole thing right there. I'll bet you if we hit F9, it's 4, and it is. That's our formula, Control-Z. Close parentheses and Enter. All right, let's uh, test it. Well, first off, we haven't dealt with the fact that we're um, looking up in a different table, so let me change it to here and just test it. See if it's working on one table first. OK, so the third column, 10,000. It should be right there, 8 inch, and it is. Let's change this to 4,000. And so 4,000, it should race through, bump into the first smaller one, and jump back one row. And 5 inches, that's exactly what it's looking up. Let's change this to 5. So 4,000, it should be 6 inch, and it is. Now, how in the world are we going to get different tables? Well, you're not going to believe this. The index, so many times I have used this uh, function in videos here. We almost always use this one. A, a few times I have a, one or two videos that show how to use this one, and this is the one we want here because area number, we're allowed to select different tables if the tables are on the same sheet, and they are in this one. All right, so let's click at the, it's that index right here is the one that has the table right here. Notice table down here, these row headers and column headers. Row headers and column headers are exactly the same as the top one, so we can leave the rest of the form the same. It's just we need that table for quarter, half inch, this table for quarter, and that table for eighth. All right, so array. There, I'm going to come all the way to the end here. There's our row. There's our column. Notice the screen tips are exactly the same. It's right here where we get a difference. Now, how does it know? Well, notice it says array. It's a reference. Now, the reason it changes the uh, name of the argument there is because they must be a reference and they must be from this sheet. And here's how you do it if you're going to use the reference part. You just have to put your multiple tables separ in parentheses separated by comma. So I'm going to come down here type a comma, and then get the third table. Scroll up here so we can see it, and close parentheses. So it's this little piece right here inside the reference argument that allows us to put one, two, three tables. Now, if you do that, then you have to come to the end. And there's our row. There's our column. So I'm going to click right there. Now when I type a comma, we can get to the rarely used area number. Well, this is, requires a 1, 2, or 3. So how are we going to do that? I'm going to put a 1 right here just for now and enter this. I, I had to build a little table over here so that when we select this, we have to actually look this up, VLOOKUP or LOOKUP or something like that. So we have to look up the actual name of our table because we're using these, you know, eighth inch. and then go get the table number. So we'll put this into edit mode. And right there, I just put an area number of 1 in. We could You could use VLOOKUP or LOOKUP or whatever you want. I'm going to use VLOOKUP since it's so common. VLOOKUP, the lookup value, boom, we're looking up that. Comma, table array, here's our table array. And I'm going to lock it with the F4 key. Comma, the column index number, 1, 2. and the range lookup exact or uh, approximate, I'm going to leave it approximate because these are numbers and they are uh, sorted in ascending order. So I'm going to type, uh, I'm going to leave it off. We don't have to do that because by default it does approximate lookup. All right, so that's the lookup. And let's just see what lookup is returning right here. F9, it's a returning a 1. Control Z. If I change this to uh, half inch, let's say half inch. I could come over here, that should be the 
third one. So I'm going to evaluate VLOOKUP, F9, and sure enough it is. So that's just a, fan, a VLOOKUP inside of that area numbers argument that's delivering the area numbers. Now you could probably do it a different way. You could have something here and then you know, change these numbers here, but that, that'll work. Control Enter. Let's try it. Hey, um, there's our half inch. So we have 4,000, the five inch rainfall. Let's go down and look here. So five inch, it should be looking up. 4,000 bumps into the first smallest one, comes over here and gets the five inch and delivers it back over there. So that is how wild look up, right? We had, uh, we had to look up. Here's our range of values we want to return. We had to look up a whole column. Uh, we had to do a match with the minus one, and then we had to use match to look up multiple tables. Now there is another way to look up multiple tables, and it's more robust in this regard. Uh, we, we can use the choose function to look up multiple tables. And with choose, you can have the tables on whatever sheet you want. You could have defined names. They're not limited like with the index. The index is limited when you use multiple tables. They have to be on this sheet. So let's see how to use the choose. Choose. Now, choose is just like the index, right? It needs the index number, which just means the table number. And then you give it the one, two, three. You just highlight and it will look it up. So I'm going to use my same little VLOOKUP here. I'm going to look up this uh, half inch comma within this, F4 comma 2, leave it off. So that's just looking up 1, 2, 3. And that's the index number in choose. It needs 1, 2, 3 comma. And then you just highlight the tables. Now, I'm highlighting the tables here. And notice it's value 1 and then comma value. So it's almost exactly like the index except for these ranges we entered here can be from different sheets. They can be uh, defined names or whatever. Actually, choose is amazing. You can look up f you know, different formulas, uh, different cell references, all sorts of things. All right. Oh, of course, it's looking up ranges. So if I control shift enter, you'll see the top value from each corner because it can't display all of them. But if I go ahead and let's actually try it. Let's put it in here. I'm going to copy this and put this right here, control V, whoops, copy. Notice I locked some of the V lookup when I really didn't need to. That has got the horrible centered, I'm going to go back to normal, normal style. All right, so we're, instead of doing this whole little construction here, I'm going to take this choose copy. And very carefully, I'm first going to go to the f to that one right there and delete it. And delete that comma because we don't have an area number. And then I'm going to come, instead of putting those there, I'm just going to control V and put my choose there. And so now it'll give us the same thing. Now, the advantage to the choose again is actually not only uh, could we look up tables on other sheets, but what in the world would you do if the numbers here and here were not the same? What were they? What if they were different? Well, that would make this formula just an, a horrible monster, big, gigantic formula, because you'd have to. What you'd have to do? You'd have to have a choose for this and for this. If you look at this uh, formula here, that range, we only put it in once because it, there, it's repeated in each table. And this range right here, we only put it in once into the match because uh, the column headers are the same in each table. Now, this is a situation where this is not uh, indexed, so we couldn't we have no option there to put multiple tables. You have to use choose there. Now, just for kicks, if you go over to the sheet, uh, 762.3 answer there. Oh, no, 762.2 answer. There is that formula. So if you really do have, here we have 15, 12, 10. Down here we have 10, 9. So if you actually had 
different row and column headers, there's that formula. All right, that, that is a bunch of monster lookup stuff. We'll see you next video.